Parker Malloy is a writer whose work has appeared in places like The Guardian, The New York Times, Rolling Stone, Vice, and The Verge. Her appear uh, TV appearances include MSNBC's All In with Chris Hayes and NBC's The Today Show. She's a semi-regular guest on CBC's Day 6 podcast and Crooked Media's With Friends Like These. Parker lives here in Chicago with her beautiful wife, Kayla, as well as their pets, dog, cat, and rabbit. Yeah. She is here right now to answer the question, why is it important? really super cool like visuals or anything but uh let's just give it a shot mm -hmm. also just want to say that i was at that uh david bowie game which was the best tough game ever anyway so my presentation today is called everything fucking sucks but you should probably still give a shit so there's a lot of really terrible horrible no good very bad fuckery happening right now in the world. Every day is a new scandal, every week a new tragedy. In fact, as I was putting together this presentation, I wasn't sure whether I should go with a list of things that made me the most upset over the past year or month. So here are four things from just the past week. <laughs> so seriously, you've got a huge story about the president's wealth being built on massive tax fraud. The planet is pretty much done with humans. And to be honest, I don't really blame it. Um, a man who showed up to a job interview scream crying about how much he loved beer and how long he stayed a virgin just got added to the Supreme Court and the Tribune endorsed Brown or three elections, which is kind of loud, you know, expected. Uh, it's, it's all just, it's all, all kind of a lot. And, you know, all of this and so much, so much more can be summed up in a single tweet from the other day because this took me... Uh, this took me all week to really work on, so here's my summary. But just <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and, you know, so on. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> so, yeah. So, <laughs> why is it important? And,. By it, I mean literally anything right now. And the answer is simple, really. Because what's the alternative? Uh, apathy? No. Life's too short to be a piece of shit. And I learned this lesson in 2014. 2014 was a big year for me. So, in 2014, uh, people started paying attention to my writing. I went from getting a few hundred readers on my personal blog to writing things for real, legitimate news outlets which I guess in 2018 are now called fake news outlets. I don't know how things work anymore. I started dating Kayla, the woman I would go on to marry, and I started to feel a little less self-conscious about my appearance. But there was also a lot of bad. With the increased attention in my writing, I got pretty arrogant and generally angry. Um, the New York Times published me. And, you know, I was on like a couple 30 under 30 lists. Yeah. And so I thought I was hot shit. Um, <laughs> that all blew up in my face in a big way. Because working a day job while trying to make it as a writer, I was still working the totally unrelated 40 hour a week day job while writing something like 400 articles a year. It was insane and I don't recommend it. I just straight up lost it on someone I thought of as a friendly acquaintance at the time. In a Facebook direct message, I lost my pool. I called her a horrible name. I gave off this, don't you have any idea who I am kind of attitude. It did not end well. Um, I got called the fuck out. And <laughs> this woman wrote a blog post commemorating my tirade, of course. Um, screenshots and all. In the days that followed, others shared their horror stories. Uh, times I was rude, times I made others feel small to make myself feel big, and times I was just a straight up asshole. I lost one of my steady freelancing jobs, my mental health went into a pretty steep decline, and 28-year-old me uh, was forced to learn an important lesson, talk shit, get metaphorically hit. Um, so for some time after that, I continued to lash out to be rude, to simply not learn my lesson. But somewhere in all of this, I realized that life's fucking hard, man. Uh, so why make it harder for others? Why can make it harder for myself? 
So I, so I chose to commit myself to being the best version of me I can. Still prone to mistakes, still an occasional fuck up. I, I thought about my day. And so I tried my best today. I'll do it again tomorrow. I decided to tweet that out. And the next day I did the same thing and so on. For a couple of years now, every single night I end with this one tweet. And people are like, you do know you're tweeting the same thing every night. Right? I'm like, yes. Um, because while so much utter shit happens around us that's beyond our control, why not try to become the best versions of ourselves that we can be? To leave a positive mark on the world. Uh, because mistakes of the past began, I was going to try to be a force for good, because we really are all we've got. So, I tried my best today. I'll do it again tomorrow. I hope you did, and you will too. Thank you.